Prayers to Nick Pope because that shoulder looked horrible. Well, let me tell you. Welcome to Streamer. Ices his shoulder because he pinched a nerve in his neck. Hi, everybody. I hope you're ready for some more NHL 17 franchise. But yeah, lovely, uh, lovely time. Lovely time. I'm feeling better today. I don't know what the hell I did yesterday to even do it. It's not like it was one specific thing. Um, it was just all of a sudden I was like, oh, my neck really hurts. And then I sat down to stream last night and that was fine. And then I went to go to bed last night and thought I was dying. So, um, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Anyway, this is also fun. NHL 17 franchise mode that we started last night. Um, I, I need to turn down my monitor brightness again because Jesus Christ is this the brightest goddamn menu of all time. Good Lord. But we did have a very good draft. So that's good. A very good draft indeed. Um, <laughs> God, I'm going to be adjusting this thing up until it's not cold anymore. I swear to God. Anyway, anyway, we march. We move after clearing out a million bajillion dollars of cap space, by the way. It was a very, a very effective time at the drafts. Uh, ooh, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do? Shout out to Hawks, by the way. The big 3-0. College football put me through the ringer today. I still, I, I can't get into college football full-time. I just can't do it. Just can't do it. I don't know what it is. It's because, like, the closest school to me that's actually good at football is, like, what? You, like, Boston College, and they're not even good. So, you know, Cody, what's going on? Uh, we're going to let go of Jake Patterson for now. We can look for uh, better players elsewhere. But again, we were able to draft Jake Ottinger and Stuart Skinner. So we'll see what happens there. We need the expansion draft area to do a uh, draft. Well, fun fact, this is the expansion draft era. Um, and maybe we will. Maybe we will. Oh, let's see. We got to keep Nikita Zadorov. Let go of Jared Cowan. Shout out to Joe. 14 months. The best football team closest to you is the Montreal Alouettes. I mean, fair. Fair enough. My goodness. Shout out to Josh Anderson. Of course, we drafted Kale McCarr. He's going to be a monster. And Kale McCarr. We're not going to be able to sign uh, Nick Haig either. Honestly, none of these guys. We're going to be able to make things happen. So, on the right, uh, Ty Kelleher. Oh, goodness. Ty Kelleher. I'm going to let go of him for now. For now, for now. We don't need to sign Clint Costin. We don't need to sign Fortier. Uh, Persson. We can let go of you, too. That overall. Yeah, but he was 22. Eric Bolton can go. Low top six, Jason Robertson. Little did we know. Uh, Sundstrom, not bad, but we'll let go of him too. He's not going to get that much better, I'd imagine. Yeah, I want to see who's out there on the free agent list. Uh, Swamala is 23 and not very good, or at least I think it's mostly morale. Will the Rampage be pillaged again this year? I don't think we have as many dudes to trade away this year, so probably not. I mean, again, we're, we're going to be at like mid 30s. Um, and we're going to have 30-some-odd million dollars in cap space. Mid-30s for contracts. So, you know, fun times. Now we actually get to look at the free agent list. Robertson was severely underrated. Well, yeah, but nobody knew Jason Robertson was going to be as good as he is. That's just that's just not a thing that people expected. Goalie-wise, Jesus, the top-rated free agent goalie is Mark Dukanich. The top-rated free agent goalie. Oh, you know why? Because we were using my custom roster, which had the free agent class already taken care of because it was dated for August. So everyone was already on the year. Aha, so that's why. That makes sense. 
That does make sense. Okay. Well, that's fine then. We don't really... I mean, we don't get in trouble for being below the cap floor in this game, I'm pretty sure. At least it doesn't show the cap floor. So, uh, $32 million roughly in cap space. Goalie-wise, at the NHL level, we're probably going to run Bernier... I need an NHL backup, an AHL project, and an AHL backup. All right, so I need about three goalies. This is the game that had playoff beards. I think so. Again, this this was a decent year for additions for them. You know, they finally started to figure out next gen a little bit. So in terms of projects, well, the Flyers didn't sign Felix Sandstrom, so we'd be dumb to not offer him a max deal. Uh, we'd also be dumb to not go after Mackenzie Skapsky. So we'll start with those two. And then figure it out from there. Skapsky could end up being the NHL backup for us next year. Defensively, Zadorov is ours, meaning the top free agents are Jakob Kindle, James Wisniewski, Cody Franzen. What about in terms of prospects? Mitch Wheaton. Fortunately, he's 22 and only a 65. Almost dropped the controller. Had to catch it with my left arm. That wasn't good. Oh, I'm falling apart. Uh, this is Libor Sulak. It is Libor. Come on down. Or maybe we'll at least compete with New Jersey. Um, we can look to bring in Yerky Yoki Baka. Because he still has one of the best names ever. Speaking of Zadorov, can NHL commentators go five seconds without calling two tall defenders the Twin Towers for five minutes? No. No, they can't. Because it's no longer too soon. So, no. They'll always be the Twin Towers. Man injures himself playing fake hockey game. Again, it's an old man injury. I didn't do anything in particular. I just like, oh, I'm hurt. So, that's that's what happened. I, I wish I could say it was like, oh, we did something cool. I didn't do anything cool. I just happened to get hurt. But you know who is cool? It's our good buddy Mills coming in with the raid. 62 people. And I, I thank you, everybody, for the message. I appreciate it. <laughs> the best part is I know exactly what he's talking about, of course. Or exactly what you're all talking about. Welcome in, everybody. Um, I'm 29 going on 74. And woke up hurt, basically. So that's fun. And we're playing old NHL franchise mode because old NHL franchise modes are fun. So we have fun here. You know, we have no clue what we're talking about. That's okay, because I do. And hello, Mills. I could sneeze the wrong way and throw out a shoulder. Dude, Jay, it's the same thing. Do you know how many times in like the past two years I've woken up and it's been like, oh, cool, I pulled a back muscle in my sleep. Like, I'm screwed, man. I'm screwed. Old age is not going to suit me well, if this is any indication. So, yeah, I was going to say, 30, 30 is just a couple months away. So, uh, this will this will be fun. This will be fun once we get there. On YouTube, you'll be injured for a month. <laughs> At least a week or so, yeah. We'll see. Essentially, I have to strap myself to the bed in a specific form in order to not get hurt. Dude, isn't it brutal? It's the worst. Oh, he's an RFA. I was going to say, why the hell is Sam Bennett available? We got to keep an eye on that, though. Going after Sam Bennett would be nice. It would be nice. Uh, what do we have for prospects here? But again, anybody. Hi. We, we do franchise things here. Mil Mills has sent you guys over here a few times. You probably know already. But yeah, we do fun franchise things here. Um, <laughs> we don't always hold a, an ice pack wrapped in a towel to our to our collarbone. But, you know, sometimes. Sometimes. Um, who? I mean, yeah, we got to go for Troy Terry here. As we just continue to try to pillage the uh, free agent list in the offseason. Shout out to is that like Anton. It is Anton Carlson. Uh, we'll go after a former Habs prospect as well. I think former Habs prospect. I don't think he's there anymore. Shout out to Warrior, by the way. The big gifted sub. Very much appreciated. My goodness, my goodness. All right, I think, I mean, we're at 11 contracts offered. We've sent offers to all the best prospects out there. Best is in air quotes because there's not anybody 
who's uh, too fantastic. Obviously, there are some names. Jerome McGinley's there. I'm hoping someone will sign him. If somebody doesn't, we're going to. We can't let Jerome McGinley uh, rot away on the free agent list. But for the moment, let's see who signs. I think we're pretty much good to go. There's got to be a way to position this so I don't have to freaking hold it all the time. It's cooling down anyway, so or warming up, I should say. And why would you go and hurt yourself? Well, you see, anybody who's ever been injured has said, you know what? Yes, now's the great time for an injury. Every time. As a good amount of these prospects are signing. Troy Terry included. All right, looks like we got about everybody, which is good. Which is good, which is good. Again, I don't know if we need to sign someone to a massive contract to make sure we don't get in trouble cap-wise. A.K.A. a cap whale. Um, we're 44 of 50 contracts, and we have almost 30 million. No, we do actually have $31 million in uh, salary cap space, which is absolutely absurd. Goalie-wise, two, three, four, five. I am going to need one more goalie. I need one more goalie. Matt Duchesne's unhappy. He sure is. He'll get over it. Let me tell you. He'll get over it. And if he doesn't, well, hey, too bad. He's on a pretty damn well untradeable contract right now. Who is the oldest goaltender? Available in free agency, 42-year-old UC Markkinen. Well, UC, congratulations. Um, we're just going to sign you to a boatload of money just to make sure we're okay cap-wise. Yeah. You got a 42-year-old player, hasn't retired yet. He deserves a bunch of money. So, there you go, Mr. Markkinen. Congratulations. Um, we do still have... It's what Sidorov as an RFA, and somebody else as an RFA. I don't quite remember who, um, but we should be okay. But yeah, Mills, I had to send you that reminder because, uh, you know, I, I need I need you in this. I need you in this tournament. <laughs> send Duchesne back to Ottawa. Ottawa was one of about a dozen teams to send a trade offer for him last season. Season two coming up. Still hilarious that Montreal won in season one, but. All right. First things first. We have to solve our RFA issues here. Let's see. RFAs. So it's just the door off. Nikita, Nikita. I'll just go ahead and give him that. That's not a, that's not a bad deal at all. Let's see, this in the next preseason game. There's the Zadorov signing. Free agency is Sam Bennett still going to be an RFA? Ooh, Sam Bennett and Alex Wenberg are both still RFAs. We might be able to steal them. We might be able to. I mean, Warrior, it's a hell of a hell of a lineage. Okay, well, we're not going to be able to drop the price too much for Sam Bennett. I don't have the appropriate draft pick to get him. Wenberg's not really going to drop the price either at $4.1 million. Let's see, Aginla is still there. So we will try to offer... Jerome, a contract. He rejected a contract with us last year. So we'll see if it happens again. I don't think I'm going to be able to make a play for the RFAs. Eric Jelena is still out there as well. Let's see if Iggy signs. I'm not going to be able to make a play for the RFAs like I wanted. Which is a shame. Iggy has come back to Colorado, though. Which is very, very good. So what do we have here, roster-wise? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Hockey kit, what's going on, by the way? So in goal, Bernier, hate to say it, but yeah, Bernier, Skapsky, and Markinen. AHL can be Gustafson, Sandstrom, and Joe Canada. 
So we actually do have some good goalie prospects here. Defense. One, two, three, four. Oh, boy. All right. Well, Chris Bigris definitely makes the team. Two, three, four, five, six with Yoki Paka. Or it could be seven with Yoki Paka, and we call up Dylan Blugis. Do we want Yerky Yoki Paka to play? He really has more of a depth defense from where's Johnson. We traded him. A beautiful, beautiful trade. Simons, Percy. I mean, these guys are older. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I think Simons needs that call up. I don't know if I'll, I don't know if we're gonna have space to sign everybody in this ice pack. It's just totally, totally cooled down. So we're well, not cooled down. It's done the opposite. No more gigantic ass shoulder. Anyway, I think we're gonna have too many half decent prospects. Like people are gonna have to sit, but we'll deal with it. Forward wise, two. All right, Rantanen, Jost, definitely need call-ups. Who else can we call up here? I mean, Iggy makes a lot of sense. Get Jerome back on the NHL roster for Troy Terry. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I need two people to be called up here. Gabriel Bork is 26. Um, it can be Andrew Agazino. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need about three forwards. Three more forwards on this team. Apparently it named AJ the captain in San Antonio, which is a good call. I approve. Yeah, we need three forwards, and those RFAs are kind of untouchable. It doesn't work the same way that it does in other games. So if we look at UFAs... I mean, Sundstrom's 25. He's not going to get much better. Let's see. How many medium bottom sixes are there? A lot. A lot. A lot. Oh, my God. There's so many. <laughs> Jesus. All right. This will be a faster way to do it. Sheldon Dree, Sadie overall, 23 years old. And his name is Sheldon. Which is a massive positive. Uh, Scott Kosmachuk. Have to bring him in. And uh, from there, well, Jordan Cron doesn't really work. Henley's 24. Casey Bailey at 23. Uh, Henrik Samuelson. Why not? We used him in Arizona for a little bit. Let's use him again here. And we should be okay from there. Stephen Harper, bring in the Prime Minister. The Minister of Defense. There we go. All right. So we can... I don't necessarily know if we'll be a playoff team this year, but we could end up being pretty decent. If we look at the forwards... Rolls Kosmachuk and Samuelson as fourth liners. So Agazino, Toninato, Kosmachuk, and Samuelson. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Technically could drop Kerfoot. Technically could drop Kerfoot. I don't think the back out thing was necessary for this game. I could be wrong. But so if we drop Kerfoot. Toninato should definitely be down. Do the white backgrounds alone make these the worst menus ever? Uh, the menus themselves are nice, but I agree with the idea that it's in br essentially bright mode. It's not just light mode, it's fucking bright mode. <laughs> um 
you know, you, you get used to it. I mean, I'm a dark mode user for every app out there, but you do get used to it. What NHL game has the best draft mechanics? Oh, God. I don't know if there I don't know if there is a best. Honestly. I don't know if any NHL game has ever kind of accurately captured kind of the excitement of what the draft should be. The risk reward system has never really been there in terms of like what a real draft feels like. So yeah, I don't know if that's ever been a thing. I don't know if there's one in particular that deserves a shout out. like, ah, yes, here it is. This is the best version. Ranton and Jost Yakupov. Either that or we call up Comfer. That second line. I don't know how well this is going to work out. Samuelson at center. Yakupov. Aginla at center. Okay. And then Ranton and Jost. Comfer, top line. Landeskog, Duchesne, McKinnon. We need Matt Duchesne's overall to bounce back so we can hopefully trade him because right now he's not actually an 84. Uh, you can see the negative effect that morale's having on his attributes right now. So we got to find a way to fix that badly. Defense. Well, pretty straightforward, but that should work. Doroff, Barry, Miranoff, Bagaris, Simons, and Sulak. That's not bad. Bernier and Mackenzie Skapsky. Still tremendous. An absolutely tremendous name. Mackenzie Skapsky. Goalies, Sandstrom and Gustafson, which is good. Defense. I don't think we're going to have space for Warsawski. Oh, boy. All right. Um, Rops a high seventh, Boykoff's a high HL top two, Vinio's a medium six, Melox a medium four, Peters is a medium six, so Melox for sure, and that's pretty much all we can do right now. That's a stack defense for AHL level, but uh, also a little bit rough. Just how many guys we got to kind of leave out of the lineup. But that's okay. LFC, what's going on? We are doing well. How goes it? Let's get Magyar in there. Lanford. For, is Marchman ours? I don't think so. We got Brendan Ranford out of there for Carter Verhage. Not too worried about... Well, actually... I probably should avoid being lazy and actually optimize this a little bit. Probably should. At the same time, there's so many dudes with low potential, it almost doesn't even matter. Um, we'll edit by OVR. Sort it out that way. Can you imagine the Oats winning the cup and then relocating? I could, and it would be funny as hell because of how many people it would make big, big mad. Go, Trace Toninato, Grimaldi, Olhaver, Kerfoot, Greer. Okay. AHL is looking good. In terms of the kind of prospects that we have there. LFC, probably back half of the stream. I'm going to alternate between franchise stuff and then some roster editing stuff. I did finish up uh, with Carolina off stream. So, NHL-wise, we're probably not going to be too great this year. I feel like that's safe to say. It's uh, Operation Make Matt Duchesne Happy and then probably trade him and Tyson Berry. 
I still don't think we're going to be anywhere near good enough to make anything happen. Um, but this should still, you know, I mean, you never know, though. This team could go off with some of the high-end talent that we have.